when it comes to this administration and the radical left, it's really hard to exaggerate who they are. It's really hard to exaggerate what they believe. Uh, unless you know what a liberal and a leftist really is today. If, you're, if, you, ha if you understand the anger that motivates them, if you understand the, the frustration and the genuine rage that animates these people, and the rage and the anger is at capitalism, at America as founded, and at the people in this country who have achieved in the capitalist system, because the leftist believes that the game is rigged. And the achievers are part of a club that they protect each other and take care of each other. And they keep everybody else out. And the people they keep out are minorities and people of color and uh, certain sexual orientations and uh, genders and so forth. They genuinely believe this. And they have told their people as they've been born and raised, uh, if you're female, if you're a minority, if you're a person of color, if you're gay... That club over there is not going to let you in. And, they, and look at what they have. They have Wall Street, and they have the corporate jets, and look at the houses they have. they got four or five houses. You're never going to get in there. And this is, and then they, they, they've got their race makers that come along, like the Reverend Jackson, Reverend Sharpton, tell them this, and reinforce it. And you've got La Raza that says the same thing. And you have Acorn, which tells its charges the same thing. And so the objective becomes to get even. To get even with this outrage called capitalism. These people are not taught that the game is open to anybody. And all that's required is industriousness. You know, the usual things that accompany achievement and success. Passion, devotion, knowing what you want, knowing what you love, and working hard for it. These people are told none of that's going to get you anywhere. That's all a lie. Even if you do all that, they're not going to pay you as they pay each other. Even if you do every bit, you work as hard, the only people are going to let in are going to be Uncle Tom's. The only people are going to let in uh, are, are, are people just to make it look like they're diverse. This is, this is what they really think, folks. It's what they truly believe. And they follow that by saying the only way to make everything equal in terms of outcome here is to give these people in the capitalist club a kick in the teeth and a taste of their own medicine. So, hello, crumbling economy. As far as the left is concerned, it's already bad for everybody but the rich. It's already bad for the middle class. It's already bad. In America, as it, it normally is, it's bad for everybody who's not in the capitalist club. It just isn't fair. So all of this economic damage being done now, it's not any worse than what the downtrodden feel every day. In their view, what they're, what they're doing now is trying to bring the misery and the suffering that they think exists throughout this country to the precious few who have gamed the system. That's why Goldman Sachs, Wall Street, AIG, that's why they are the enemy. That's why conservatives are the enemy. That's why people who are oriented toward the founding of the country and freedom and liberty are the enemy. Because they stand in the way of this balancing that the radical left thinks must happen. Now you're saying to yourself, but Rush, can't they look around the world and see this has never worked? Yeah, they can. They do. What they tell themselves is the right people have never been in charge of it and without uh, the right amount of money. But now the right guy's in charge, finally. We're the ones we've been waiting for. Obama and his crew, finally now. This is the way. This is the way the world has been waiting for. This is the moment the world's been waiting for. This, this is the guy who is going to show the world how socialism and communism can be made to work.